What's up, YouTube? This is Red Zone 101, as always. God bless and peace. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Hey, guys. Told you about a firearm that I had purchased recently. It was the Diamondback um, Sidekick 22 uh, revolver. What's really cool about this is that it's a uh, cowboy-style gun that looks... Well it, looks, well, it looks like a cowboy gun, okay? But instead of being single action only, it's actually single action, double action. You can use it in either double or single action. Wanted to show you some new accessories that I got with it. And one of the major ones is this right here. Check out those grips. Tell me that those aren't some beautiful grips. I mean, and just to show you, firearm is unloaded. Now, I was carrying this, but for the video, I went on and took the bullets out. You know, safety first. So there we go. Firearm is unloaded. That's another great thing about this. Instead of having a loading gate, and granted, I love my single action cowboy guns that have the loading gate. Just something just really <sighs> relaxing and cool about being able to open the loading gate and put them in one by one and, and uh, like rotate the cylinder. But, but, but with this one, <laughs> I love the simplicity of use. You just pull right here and it opens. Or you can pull right there and you can a little bit sticky there but pop your cylinder open that way I prefer to open mine by pulling right here and then just giving a little push and it opens up well but again wanted to show you these new grips I got for it I got these on eBay um, these are let me see these were actually grips for a um, a Ruger Wrangler, but I found out that the Ruger Wrangler grips will fit on your Diamondback Sidekick 22 revolver. And these grips are, let me give you a, a description here. My internet's slow, I guess it's the weather, you know, uh, or maybe my tablet's just slow. These are Copper Pearl Ruger Wrangler Blackhawk whatever grips. Um, anyway. I just thought they looked really good. They actually, they actually looked better in person than they did in the actual ad. And I got these on eBay. And the fit, the fit is immaculate. The fit is so, I mean, the fit is almost perfect. Now, these are the grips that come with your diamond bag. They're not bad grips, but they're nothing to write home about. These here... You can write home about give you a really good look at those i mean to me they just they just take this gun up a level now granted it's already a good firearm i really enjoy the fact that not only is it single action but it's also double action now some of you are probably cringing because i just shot a 22 revolver i dry fired it now from what i've heard you can actually dry fire these without damaging the firearm. So that's a really great thing also that you can practice with that. Now, you might want to go and verify that, but that's what I've heard. I contacted Diamondback just to confirm that, and I'm waiting on them to get back with me. But it's supposed to be in the manual also. I might have to look that up again. But, it, but again, look at those grips. Man. For, I mean, this is not an expensive revolver as a budget gun but just doing a simple mod like this right here with the grips just takes it up a whole different level now the other thing i did got to show you this this is really cool i mean i got the revolver right i got the handgun but you need a holster for it now i went on ebay and see if my internet will get a little faster here we go these right here, <clears throat> I got these on eBay. Let me show you this holster for it. Now tell me, is that a sweet holster? I mean, this for the money, let me tilt the camera down just a little bit. For the money, I paid less than $40. Okay, that's shipping and handling for this holster here. I mean, great and for those of you that think a gun like this can't be carried concealed 
Look at that. If you got the right clothing, the right holster, you can carry almost any gun concealed. And you're ready to go. Let's try that fast draw again. Ready to go. Let's try it with uh, this way. Ready to go. All right. Let me quit uh, with showing off. But a great holster. It's got the leg strap. Now, the leg strap is a little short. I contacted the uh, buyer. He's looking at getting, getting me another leg strap because I don't have the thickest, biggest leg. So, <laughs> this leg strap needs to be a little longer. But other than that, people, that is a great combination there. So, you got the holster, got the new grips. I mean, like, what else can you ask for? Now, I'll tell you what you can ask for. Let me tilt that up a little bit. Hold on, people. I'm my own uh, cameraman here. It's a that's a work with me. <laughs> okay. Now, what else could you ask for? Got the new grips. Got the new holster. What about a faster way to reload this? Now, granted, because this is double action and the cylinder actually swings out, it's a lot easier to load than your single action that has a loading gate that you have to load one at a time. Open the loading gate, load one in, rotate the cylinder, load another one in, and you got six shots. Another great thing about this revolver here is a nine shot. Love that. But... What if we could reload this a lot faster than simply pulling the cylinder out and loading your rounds in one at a time, okay? Now, I was watching some videos and I came across a video that was talking about these right here. Now, this is a HKS speed loader, okay? And... Um, I think this is for, I'm not sure if it's a high standard speed loader or, anyway, I got these on with eBay also. Um, let me see here if I can get the original packaging to come up. Um, let's see here. Uh, here we go, speed loader. HKS speed loader. Um, and let me see, what, what is it used for, if it'll give me that but i think it's for a high standard well don't quote me but anyway this is a nine shot so the way that this works here just like your other revolver speed loaders you're going to load your rounds in okay one at a time okay here we go again try not to lose these i love my cci stingers um these are really good 22 rounds, lots of power, you know, a lot of oomph. So now you turn it like that, they drop in, give it a little turn, and hopefully I did this right. And now you got a speed loader with nine rounds in it that you can carry on your person instead of having a bunch of rounds like in your pocket. I mean, normally in a self-defense situation, you're probably not going to be using, you know, more than nine rounds or whatever, but still. You never know. But it makes it a lot easier to load. So now, if I take my revolver, open it up like that. See if I can do this on camera. Take your speed loader, put it in like that, give it a little turn, and they all should give, give it a little wiggle. And you see I'm still getting used to this. A little wiggle there. And they're supposed to fall, fall in. <laughs> okay, that's me. That's not the speed loader. I'm still getting used to this. I don't use these a lot. But still, that's a lot quicker to load than trying to load them in one at a time. Let's try it again just to see if I can do it a little quicker. Okay. Now, because I was doing this on camera, of course, it's going really, really slow. So let's load this bad boy up again. But then again, still, it's going to be much quicker than if you're loading it one at a time. So let's get these in here. And there we go. Now we got them in. Let me lock them in. And see, that's the thing you got to be careful with. Like I said, I'm still, there's a learning curve for me. It's open. I thought I had closed it. Instead, I opened it. 
glad I didn't have it tilted directly down at the floor. There we go. That should be locked. Got them locked in there. Let's try this again. My cylinder is open. Put them in like this. Turn them. Give it a little shake. Much better that time. Ready to rock and roll. So, these are just a couple of the accessories once I got the firearm. You know, I just think it takes it up a level. Got the new grips here. And granted, this is a really nice firearm for the price. I paid about $317 like out the door for it, which ain't bad. Really nice with the new grips. That and the new holster here and these speed loaders. I got two of these. I got them on sale on, on uh, eBay. Might even get a couple more. Um, again, takes this revolver to a whole new level. And uh, I think those are some really nice accessories for it. If you have one, one of the things I would definitely do is upgrade the grip. You know, again, these aren't bad. I mean, for what you're getting, these aren't bad. But these are much better. Much better. Between that, getting yourself a nice holster, a couple of speed loaders, I think you'd be set. That's my own personal opinion. Now, question. I bought this for, uh, for the most part, just for a recreation, for planking, whatever. Could I possibly use this for self-defense? Most definitely. You got nine shots of 22, whether, you, let's say whether you're using something like, and if you were going to use this for self-defense, because for years people use single action cowboy guns for self-defense and had no problem. Now granted, someone's going to say, well, with, all of your modern guns out here with higher capacities, why would you use something that only has six or nine shots? And my answer is this. It's not how many shots you have or how many rounds you have in your firearm. It's where you put those rounds once they leave the firearm. Shot placement. One good shot of 22 long rifle, let's say Federal Punch, Stingers, or even your CCI, mini mags or your Aguila Super Maximum is going to be way more effective than a miss with one of your higher capacity um, rounds, one, one of your more powerful rounds. I have nothing against those. I love my 9 mils. I love 40 cals. You know, 40s are a little snappy, but I love my 9 mils and my other rounds or what have you, but a good 22, I think everyone should have. So could I use this for self-defense? Most definitely. It's where you place the shots. Shot placement is more important than how big the round is for that you're shooting. So, and with the right holster, as I showed, let's, let's show this one more time. With the right holster, you can definitely conceal this with no problem. And then if you need it, you're right there. So again, People just wanted to share that with you, a couple of the accessories that I just bought for my Diamondback Sidekick. I think it takes this gun up to a whole new level. Let me know what you think. Anyway, it's a beautiful Saturday. I'm waiting on the sun to come out. <laughs> Hoping it doesn't rain again. Wanted to get back out there and cut some more grass. I'm telling you, as soon as you cut it, it just seems like when it rains, it just comes right back up. So, I got to hit that sometime this weekend. Anyway, guys. Have a beautiful, safe weekend. God bless. I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think. As always, watch your six. Again, God bless and peace. Take care.